Okay, so the next bit we're going to do is making our sprite move. And we need to start, we need to think about where we want our sprite to actually go. So I'm just going to shrink this down a touch. And so I can pick it up. And I'm going to start it over here. Now, if you can't remember, if you double click onto your sprite, it will change these numbers over here and it tells the blocks where your sprite is going to go. So what we're going to do is, depending on what river or whatever you're, you're presenting about, so if it was an explorer, you'd want it to go around the world, and if it was Magellan, Magellan would, would be in a boat and he would be travelling around the world. Here, I'm going to go and get my boat to travel up the Nile. So first of all, what I'm going to do is go to my background, and I'm going to have it at the beginning. It's going to get my Nile, my Nile over here. I might just go and edit this and make this a little bit bigger. There we go. Pick that up and move it. Don't. That's a little bit better. Okay. First of all, let's go into my boat. Go to my scripts. And. When green flag clicked, first of all, I want it to show. So I go into looks, and here's my show. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this hide later so that I can actually talk in my presentation and pause the presentation and actually speak to the class. OK. Next, I want it to glide to here and then here, and then here. So I can make it go in a kind of zigzag fashion. Let's go into motion. It tells me it's going to move. I'm going to pick it up, stick it there, double, double click. Then I'm going to go and put a spacebar in. My spacebar is going to be to start the show. Motion, glide to there, then I went to the glide to here, double click it. And you can see that these numbers are changing now, so it's going to take one second to glide to this. Move up a little bit further, double click. Let's see what that does. So let's go, green flag clicked. I want it to be at the beginning. Let's go make sure I've got a beginning block in there and then spacebar. Good. So it goes nice and slow. Let's go and let's maybe take it a little bit further. Double click it and put another one in. So that there's a little bit of a journey. So you can see that it moves kind of left and right. Let's go and green flag, take it back to the beginning. And I don't really want it to glide. I want it to go to that beginning there. Let's go and go. So it goes straight away done rather than gliding. Hit spacebar, let's see what it does now. Good. Now we're at the first part. Now you, what we want to do is we want the sprite to actually say something. So if you go to looks we can say some text. So if I go back to the beginning and hit spacebar when it gets to the end, it's going to say hello for two seconds. What I really wanted to do, though, is I wanted to tell me something about the Nile. So here's, I'm in Chrome now. You can see that I'm in Google Chrome from scratch. And I'm going to say, just where is the River Nile? So I'm going to use this text. You, obviously, will... You will obviously type it because it will be your own in your own words. I'm going to go to scratch, and then you can't you can't control 
C in here or Command uh, Control V or Command V in here, you're going to have to. Uh, sorry, you can't right click in here. You're going to have to use the shortcuts, which is Control C, Control V, and you have to paste, which is Control V. So it's going to say this for two seconds. It's probably going to need to stay it for a bit, a little bit longer. Okay, so let's just go and highlight all that. And we need to say that for, let's say, eight seconds so that somebody can read it. In here, Command V and spacebar. Let's go and see what it does now. You can, if if this disappears off the end, you can double it up so you can have four of these and say different things. So what we can do, what we're going to do next is we're going to have our recording over the top of this. So we're going to you are actually going to have to record your voice and say what is happening in your presentation. That's the end of part two on text and movement. Next bit is going to be recording and then we're going to be changing the backgrounds.